in the personal development world, so they asked about the whys. They talk about the whys. And I call that the egoic why. Because if you're truly motivated, if you're truly inspired by what you love, you don't need a why. Because if you go out and ask a painter, why do you paint? What kind of answer do you think the painter will give you? Why not? I'm a painter. It's what I love doing. The painter doesn't need to wake up remembering his child, remembering his family, remembering that he needs success in order to do what he loves. No, the painter just wakes up and is like, ah, oh, I feel like painting today. I'm now going to paint because I love it. And he loves the process of painting. Same as a musician. Why do a musician write music? It's in him to write music. It's in her to write music. Why does a dancer dance? It's in, them to, it's in her to dance. It's what you love deep down inside that treasure box that we call the heart. If you open up that treasure box, you will remember what you love. All the things that you love doing in this world. And your purpose, if you're still looking for your purpose, guys, I'll tell you where it is. It's in here. Find out. No, not find out, sorry. Remember what you loved. Truly, once as a child, what was it that you really loved, passionate about? Remember what you love, even to this day. What you love doing, it's always, you're always doing it unconsciously. I just like, I see a piano, I'm like, piano. So even though you're not consciously doing it, you're unconsciously loving it. Let me say this again. Even though you may not be consciously doing what you love, you are unconsciously loving what you, loving it. And so your true purpose in this world is to remember what you love and bring that out and create what you love. Because we're all creators. We're all powerful creators. Some of us were born to create leaders, like Jonathan and I. That's our true calling. We realize that we're here to create leaders. If you ask us why, I'll tell you. I, I, don't, have an, I don't have an answer for you. I don't know why we want to create leaders. I just know that it's true. And when I create leaders, when I see people like David grow, and I see people like Belinda break out their limit, limitations and become empowered, it gives me so much joy. It's like cr creating a masterpiece. And that fills me. And I love what I do. So why do we create leaders? It's in us to create leaders. Why do you do what you do? Why do you do what you do? Think about that question. Why do you do what you do? Are you doing it because you want to get somewhere in life? Or are you doing it just because you love doing it? That is the ultimate difference. I promise you I'll give you clarity by the end of the day. There is no one answer fits all. There is no one size fits all. But I can only give you a universal answer. The universal answer is what your, your, your true purpose is. Is to create what you love. You're here to create. So if you are not creating right now, that's where you're on the wrong path. That's where the negative vision comes and hijacks you. Because your negative vision actually is a distraction from you creating. A true vision is a creation. If you want to know the difference between a true vision and a negative vision, the difference is your true vision is a creation. So at the end of the day, once you've reached that vision, you would have created something that is either tangible or that can be leave, left behind, like a legacy, for example, or a business, or a relationship, or a family. Or it could be a physical thing like a book. But your true vision is always something that you're creating. You're on the path of creating something that you love. Not doing in order to get somewhere. That's a negative vision. If you're doing something as part of the process of the creation, that's a different story, right? So if, for example, if, you're, if, I'm, if you need to create a business, and that's true for you, you need to create a business, then there are lots of doings in there. You've got to learn how to do the marketing, the sales, and all of that. There are a lot of tasks you do have to do, but they're all process of the creation, which is to create the business. So 
So your true vision is always associated to what are you creating at the day and the other day and is what you're creating true to you or not. And what I mean by true to you is I what I mean is do you love it? Do you love what you create? Do you do you get joy by looking at what you created? And do you get the joy from actually the creation process? Because if you do, that is your true vision. And that is you following your heart. And that is the hero's journey. And that is also your journey.